Massive political controversy and this one is coming in from Tamil Nadu where a massive face-off is taking place between the DMK and the governor of Tamil Nadu, Arun Ravi. Arun Ravi has spoken out about how Hinduism is against the caste system and discrimination in the name of caste. He's also said that there's widespread caste discrimination in Tamil Nadu which is unacceptable. Hindu dharm doesn't accept this, he says, and it is against any kind of of inequality. Let's listen to what the Tamil Nadu governor had to say because he also tore into those quote-unquote trying to break the nation. Listen in. Those people who are talking to eradicate Hindu Dharma, actually this is a hidden agenda to destroy, to break this country. To break this country since the colonial times and even today with some hostile foreign powers, in collaboration with them, in collaboration with jihadis and all, a large section of our brothers and sisters, they are not treated equal. Hindu dharma talks about equality. There was no discrimination. Discrimination crept in later. It's a social evil, and this evil must be eradicated. We're going across now. Uh, let's listen in to what the DMK spokesperson, Mr. Elangovan, had to say. In the north, a, an upper caste man can urinate on a lower caste boy and nobody can question. That is the kind of uh, social justice uh, Mr. from Mr. Ravi's place, area, not his place. Maybe how he, has, uh, he is acting towards the lower caste people, I don't know. I am calling him Mr. Ravi because he is not, he has failed to act as a governor. What is the duty of the governor? To give assent to the bills passed by the legislature. He has not done that duty. But he is serving as the uh, stooge of the RSS group. DMK's ally, that is the Congress, however, doubled down and continued to attack the governor, Arun Ravi. Listen in to what Karthi Chidamara had to say. The governor of Tamil Nadu has always shot off comments which are unbecoming of the office he holds. He has been a troublemaker in his previous assignment in Nagaland and he continues being a troublemaker in Tamil Nadu. In fact, I would urge the Honorable Rashtrapati to withdraw the pleasure of this governor and recall him immediately. He always crosses the, the boundaries of a constitutional functionary. Let's go across to Dharani, who's joining us for more on this. Dharani, this is a fresh face-off that's taking place, but it comes in the backdrop of the controversy surrounding Sanatan Dharma. And here we see Arun Ravi, in fact, not losing an opportunity to attack uh, what he believes is uh, discrimination taking place in Tamil Nadu. Well, uh, the governor was uh, speaking at an uh, event in Tanjavu district uh, yesterday evening and uh, you know, during the event, of course, he's made some uh, controversial uh, remarks. He has told that uh, caste discrimination is very rampant in Tamil Nadu. You know, in Tamil Nadu, uh, even uh, students can be uh, seen wearing uh, caste bands in their hands and that is something that he has not seen in any other state in India is what uh, R.N. Ravi has told and he's also went on to uh, tell that, you know, uh, there are, uh, you know, uh, incidents like, you know, one SE student recently got uh, beat, and, you know, uh, by by fellow uh, school students, you know, in a government school in Tamil Nadu, and likewise, uh, uh, you know, in Pudukode district a few months back, a human excreta was uh, mixed with drinking water in, in a Dalit colony. And, uh, you know, uh, incidents against Dalit are on a continuous rise in Tamil Nadu. So, uh, basically, you know, from, uh, from all these, uh, you know, instances, we can only assume that uh, caste discrimination is very rampant in the state and that, uh, you know, uh, uh, but however, for the past, uh, you know, a few decades, the political parties in Tamil Nadu have been uh, projecting an image of social justice but in reality, uh, Tamil Nadu is a state which uh, contains a lot of, you know, a caste discrimination is what Governor R.N. Ravi has told. And now uh, the ADMK is, uh, uh, you know, coming all against the governor for his uh, remark. They are telling that, you know, uh, the governor doesn't understand uh, uh, the basic ethos of social justice and that he has made this uh, remark without any proper understanding about what Tamil Nadu as a state is.
All right, thanks so much for joining us with all those updates.